Hi, I'm Havish. Uh, in today's video, we are going to uh, look at the system architecture or the architecture diagram on a basic level, on an operating system level in general. Uh, so this is the third part in the series of uh, introduction to AS400. So in the first two parts, if you have not watched, uh, then please look at those videos. They are there my, in my channel. I'll also add description to these videos in the description. Um, so the issue which we are highlighting and uh, which we are trying to uh, sort out in this video is that uh, most of the people who are first introduced to AS400 through green, uh, black and green screens, uh, they think that AS400 IBM I operating system is the only operating system that can run on IBM I. But we will see that that is not the case. Uh, AS400, which is now IBM Power Systems, which we discussed in the previous video, IBM Power Systems supports a various kinds of uh, operating systems. So one of them is IBM I. Let us just have a quick look on how the architecture currently is and how people think about it or how it was before. So there is this website called all400s.com. So they have a very good article on uh, the structure of AS400. So if you look at the PDF file uh, called analogy.pdf, you'll see that in the older version of AS400, in the 1988 version, the outer box uh, they have shown as the hardware that is IBM AS400. Uh, the operating system which runs on top of it uh, was called OS 400 at that point and inside the operating system there are multiple uh, programming languages which were supported so at that point of time CL which is command line uh, language command language RPG report program generator 3 uh, COBOL Fortran Pascal all these are, uh, are different languages which were uh, supported on the operating system OS 400. And the database used was uh, DB2400, which is uh, also the case today. So if you are introduced to IBM AS 400 uh, through this black and green screen, that is what you're currently running. You're currently running a newer version of OS 400, uh, which is now called IBM I. But that is not the case uh, anymore. So if you scroll down in this PDF, they have a very nice illustration where they have explained the evolution of AS400. So if you look at the 2020 version of AS400, uh, you will see that the green outside box, which represents the hardware. So they have written down here power hardware. So power hardware is IBM power system. So that is my power. So power hardware, processors, disks, etc. So this green box outside represents the machine or the hardware. So IBM power system, as it is called today, as we discussed in uh, this thing multiple times in uh, prior videos. So IBM power system is now capable of running multiple applications or uh, let's say multiple operating systems at the same time on different partitions. So uh, on a single machine, there can be multiple virtual machines or within a virtual machine, there could be multiple partitions uh, where multiple operating systems are installed. So they have given examples of three operating systems uh, here. First is the ILE environment, uh, which is generic AS400. So the name of this is IBM I. So the black and green screen uh, operating system, which we have been uh, looking at uh, since many videos or which is the main one. So that is the first operating system that they have uh, illustrated over here. So ILE stands for integrated language environment. Uh, so this is the uh, continuation of the older operating system, which was uh, in use and it is still in use. So if you look at the structure of IBM I, uh, you will see that the number of uh, programming languages supported on IBM I is now increased. So uh, I'll just zoom into this PDF. So operating system is IBM I and uh, programming languages supported now apart from CL, COBOL, RPG3. Now we have new languages which are supported. So RPG4 is supported, CLLE, which is extension of uh, CL, then uh, CL uh, and then RPG free file format. So free format RPG is uh, also introduced now, RPG4, RPG free. Uh, then we also have C, C++, Java and other languages are also supported. So the database is uh, now called DB2 for I. 
So this is the same uh, newer version of the same database which uh, has been in continuation on AS400 for so many years. So uh, this says that C, C++, uh, Java and all these languages are also supported. So Python is also supported, uh, which they have not illustrated here, but uh, a port of Python can also run on AS400's IBM I operating system. So we currently have access to uh, IBM I in this session. So I've logged into IBM I. I just want to show you that um, Java or C or C++, uh, we can write programs in these languages also on IBM I. So IBM I is not limited to COBOL, it is not limited to RPG, like most of the people would be introduced on this uh, platform or would have been told that. Uh, this is a legacy system, it is black and green screen, it supports only COBOL and RPG, no other programming languages are supported. So that is not the case. Uh, there are many applications which run Java. Uh, the, the base core applications are also built in C and deployed, C++ and deployed on IBM I. So we can just uh, fire command uh, qp2term, call qp2term and this will open a Linux uh, emulator. Uh, so this is a pass system. We'll talk about pass later on. So this can run some of the Linux commands on IBM I. So if you just type Java space dash version and press enter. So this is the same Java version command which we run our windows on Linux. So uh, this returned me with Java version is installed. So it says Java version 1.8 is installed and uh, Java and it's all uh, required libraries, JRE, JVM, everything is uh, auto or everything is available in IBM I. And uh, we can see in this output that uh, JDK 8 is available on uh, this command line of IBM I. So Java command is available, Java C command is also available. So it gave me an error that it requires a uh, file for compilation. Uh, but this uh, tells you that Java is currently installed in the operating system. We can also look at uh, what other compilers are installed. So if we execute a command uh, display software resources, so I opened this window using a command called as display sfwrsc. We'll go through all the major commands uh, later on in the next tutorials, but uh, display software resources command will list down what all uh, softwares are installed or what all packages are installed. Uh, in AS400 or IBM I. So I scroll down, there is a long list of which all resources are available. I scroll down and uh, there is this list of which all compilers are available on IBM I. So I can see there is a compiler for RPG4. RPG4 is also still widely used language in many of the core applications. If I scroll down, uh, we have System 36, System 38 compatibility, RPG400, uh, compiler is available, COBOL, ILE COBOL, System 38 compatible COBOL, OPM COBOL, then C language compiler is available, uh, then C++, ILE C++ compiler is also available, we can write C++ programs as well. So we can find uh, Java support also here if you scroll and if you try to find that, but we have already seen that uh, Java is also installed. So we can actually write Java programs and we can execute Java programs. Python packages can also be, uh, Python can be installed and uh, Python programs can be run directly on IBM I as well. Uh, so that was a little demonstration of uh, IBM I where I wanted to show that it's not only limited to uh, COBOL and RPG, but Java and modern languages are also supported. So we talked about one operating system or one environment which uh, IBM Power System supports, which is IBM I. But apart from IBM I, other environments are also supported. So we can have different partitions in the power systems where the operating system is uh, AIX or Unix. So this environment is called uh, PAC environment. Uh, so the terminal which we started call QP2Term. So that started a terminal for PAC environment, but we can have an, an entire system where Unix or AIX is the operating system, which is installed on IBM power systems. So when we have Unix operating system, it supports all uh, major languages. So PHP, Python, Perl, Node.js, Git, 
uh, then other languages are also supported so databases also different types of databases are also supported mysql which is a modern database so mysql mariadb oracle database and other databases can also be supported if the operating system is aix or unix so the operating system can also be linux so linux distributions such as red hat ubuntu suze linux and other distributions of uh, linux is what is illustrated over here so if you have linux then you have a wide world open to you so linux modern day linux distributions like ubuntu or red hat they support almost all modern programs uh, so you have access to the entire uh, world of development tools uh, you have different languages which are supported on linux so as example we have uh, they have shown that php python r c++ html so a lot of modern languages are also supported on power systems and uh, databases uh, linux will support all modern databases because linux is uh, majorly used in all the servers so you have databases as well so the point to make here is that as400 is no longer uh, our old as400 where uh, we only have a black and green screen we can also have linux which is running and we can log into linux using ssh and we won't even notice that it is running on ibm power systems so we won't even notice that it is an as400 without looking at the hardware so as400 is no longer equivalent to ibm i uh, it also supports other operating systems so that is what we saw we saw the legacy system which was used before uh, we also saw in modern as400 uh, different operating systems are supported and uh, through different operating systems multiple languages are also supported you also saw that ibm i operating system itself is uh, now uh, updated to support all the modern programming languages as well so as we discussed last time web servers also run on ibm i so it does support uh, all the modern tools and languages as well so that was it for today's discussion if you liked it uh, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and uh, yeah we'll meet next time thank you